Most people in America are familiar with what politics are today. Politics are those things that, for most people, comes around, or everybody knows, that comes around every four years with new major elections. It is absolutely true that there are passionate, diehard politicians, or political consultants, or marketing people, or uh, publicity people that work on politics year-round. And they work on small elections locally, they work on state elections, and they work on national elections, which get a lot of international publicity. But the liars of America think that everybody is mobile, everybody is free to go to a convention, and this past year that wasn't true. I had no mobility, I had no cash, I had no funds, I had no opportunity to go and introduce myself to someone I talk about all the time. It would have been great, but I didn't even have my clothes with me. I didn't have a suit with me because I've lost 16 inches off my waist. When I say that, it also means I've lost almost probably 50 to 80 pounds, but I haven't been on a scale for myself privately or, should I say, also another way of privately in a medical doctor's office where they weigh you all the time. When you get there, let's check your weight. Let's see how you're doing. I mean, shit, I can do that at home. But these fucking people keep playing as if I'm not me. Who the fuck gave you the right to say that? I don't know who these people are on YouTube at all. I don't know one employee at YouTube. Although I did have at one time some Korean kid on a bus say that his sister worked for YouTube. And I'm like, okay, great. How did she do that? Does she actually work for YouTube in America? Does she work for YouTube remote from home in Korea? Does she work from... Uh, in America as an American citizen living in California I don't know that's not my business really because he didn't share any more with me but I shared with him at that time my Japanese language channel but here's what I know about people and here's what I'm refining and here's what I'm also proving that if you have a channel full of all kinds of different types of content people do get a little confused but people don't usually go to YouTube with the right attitude the right attitude is saying there are some people who are old school who use one channel completely for everything they produce on one topic. There are people like me who are marketing people who are showing off language, showing off construction, showing off how to get people engaged. And I might be just pitching to two or three people. But I don't have a website that's powerful enough or big enough to hold a video today because as most of us in the video production way know, the concept of a video has a lot of actual data volume. So when we produce a video, there's a full structure of how we typically do that. But if I'm working outside, if I'm working on the fly, if I'm working through travel, if I'm working across a bunch of different Wi-Fi networks because of where I'm going, what I'm doing during my day, and how I'm interacting with my time management in every way, I don't have the time to do the incredible idiot editing. I don't have the time to access, or nor do I have with me my data of images that would allow me to make a special and unique title for what I'm doing as I would typically do it if I was in a home office like I once had in my home studio that I used to do and openly I'm looking for where the fuck is my green screen today? 